Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Black Fire Rebel, also known as Luke, and we're back with Indigo and Futa in RimWorld. And I just want to say, if you're enjoying this series, or if you like RimWorld, or if you get to the end of this video and you thought, hey, that was a nice video, feel free to subscribe. Just a suggestion. Um, not really sure what we're going to do today. It has been a while since I have played the old RimWorld, but here is our two lovely people. We're hunting. I think food is still a bit of an issue, but we have Futa with the charge rifle, and I do believe she was better at shooting. She was. Um, <clears throat> now I'm doing like a series like this, I realize, I realize, you know, when you watch a YouTube series and you've like, you've just watched the last episode and then you watch the next episode and the person who's the, the YouTuber, the, the game player has just no idea what's going on. And it's just like, oh, come on, dude. How do you have no idea what's going on? Like, just, just remember what was happening last time. Um, I'm on the other side of that now. And I kind of realize... It's, it's kind of tricky. Um, we need really need to get some research done. It's going to be really important for actually getting food in here. I've been playing some Rimworld off of videos, and I've been enjoying myself, having a pretty good time. Let's just squeeze that into there. We don't have much wood in this uh, land. It's the issue with living in the desert. Um, kind of a struggle, not going to lie. Getting wood uh, to build these things, but we're going to have... Indigo here. Just create these things. We got the two beds. We need to make several rooms as well. There's a whole bunch of shit we need to do. An absolute metric ton of stuff we gotta do. Um, and progress is slow, but I'm determined today to get things up and running in this episode. This is the episode where things will actually get up and running and we will have things happening and things will be good. Um, because this series has been very slow so far, but that is that is the way it is with a solo survivor on a on a desert area. It's it's slow, it's tough, but hey, we're working on it. We are working on it. I don't want to make too many meals here, which we are running the risk of slightly. Um, we're gonna copy this and we are gonna add a little bit of extra recreation at the end, just to make sure they're having enough happy fun times. I want to keep those moods high if we can. We have uh, the mood bar mod on as well, so we can see if these go into the red or yellow zones, we'll be able to see uh, if people are having a, a, a sad time and not a happy time. Uh, we need to get a butcher, a proper butcher table as well. We just need to, we need a whole new area effectively. We need new rooms. I think this will probably, we can probably divide this at some point and make this fridge, kitchen, slash dining room, maybe something like that. Um, then again, you like to- it's good to keep the dining room separate. I don't know. I don't know what will make this. Maybe this will just be a stockpile. We'll see. Actually, our food area is right here. And this is like a good expandable area for food. So I think maybe this will be fridge and kitchen, and then we'll have like, dining room somewhere else. We'll have to move this at some point. We're gonna need a lot more space. That's for damn sure. Um, did I settle us near geothermal at all? I mean, geothermal's a long way off at the rate we're playing this game, to be fair. But, uh... It, it would be good to, to know. Now, as a solo survivor, I start with extra things research, don't I? I have nutrient paste and gun turrets already. Okay, I should probably make some gun turrets. Do I have batteries? I don't have batteries. So batteries is a big thing that I need to get. But I do have gun turrets already, which, uh, which could be useful. I don't like the way this defense is either. I kind of want to change that, but it'll it'll work for now. It will work for now. Let's just pop a single gun turret there. And hopefully someone will get round to doing that. Still building these traps as well to try and keep our people safe from a potential raid. We are on Randy Random as well. He's been very relaxed so far. Very, very relaxed so far. But you know how Randy do. He'll come for you. He'll come for you. And he will mess you up. But hey, is what it is. Right. Okay, I'm going to pause for a bit. Um, we're gonna try and get this finished. We're gonna keep feeding our people and I will be back if something interesting happens or if we start building a new building. Um, something like that. Hopefully this turret will get built as well. Oh, a quest. Is it... What do they want? They want 36 components to give me some a cooking neuro trainer and some global medicine. Not super useful. There's a monument here that we haven't looked at. It needs... That's a very cheap monument. What is it? Two royal favor? Yeah, let's get some royal favor. Oh no, this is an active quest. Okay, this is an active quest. Okay, what's this one? This is only one star, so we should be able to do it. 
Um, it's making a request. She wants you to take care of four bisons. I don't think I can feed four bisons. Uh, they're injured. How many, how many days? For 21 days? I can't. The dryer's at Dukeville. I don't think I can look after bisons for that long. Because I don't know if animals can even graze here. <clears throat> um, and they can't walk anyway, so. Uh, I think if you, uh, how do you do it? Do you like terrain? Animals can graze now, yes. So animals can graze, but if they can't walk, I don't have the food to look after them, so that sucks. Anyway, right, I will be back if something interesting happens. I'll catch you in a moment. A blessing or a curse? I'm not sure what to think. Yorkshire Terriers have joined. Eight of them. I cannot feed this many Yorkshire Terriers. We're gonna keep one. And then we'll be able to breed more, because we'll have two, right? We'll have- we'll have two. We'll have K and another one. Um... But I think... Look. You're not gonna like this. And I'm sorry. It's better this way. It's- it's better this way. They'll starve if I don't, okay? They'll starve if I don't. It's better this way. I'm sorry. I'm sorry! <coughs> It's better this way. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god! Oh god. Oh, okay. The survivor. The survivor. Poor doggies. Poor doggies. Oh god! He's eating their fallen brother. Oh lord. Okay, well, you know, that's something. Uh, you know, we're working on stuff. We're, we're just trying to get the necessary amount of wood that we need. Um, uh, we're using a fuel stove as well, which is, uh, we're gonna deconstruct that and get a electric stove. So we'll use this wind power. Um, we'll be able to cook less often, but we'll stop using up all our wood on cooking and we can actually build things that we want to build our wood. I could build this out of steel, but I don't want to. I feel like a simple research bench should always be made out of wood. A nice mahogany research bench. Um, but we're getting- we're, we're finding the wood slowly but surely. Various cactuses around and such and so forth. But I will be back, momentarily. Well, it seems like Mother Nature has, uh, returned the favor. A pack of man-hunting snow hares have entered the area. How many is it? It's two? Okay. I- I feel like this is a non-issue. I feel like this is a non-issue, I'm not gonna lie. We'll just chill here. Actually, if I can do it without using my traps, that would be great. Because we have burden, we have a releasable animal, so we should be okay. We got two guns as well. Uh, where are they? The only issue is they're so small, hard to spot. <clears throat> oh man, my throat is all over the place today. I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling quite congested. Every time- I feel like every time I go to record one of these videos, I get all... congested, which is strange, because I don't get it when I start streaming. I don't get it when I record Valorant videos. It's just like RimWorld videos, so I get all congested and weird. Maybe it's the relaxed vibe. My throat also gets relaxed. Okay, let's get ready to use bird in here. Release the animal. This is already bad. I should have acted quicker there, I'm not gonna lie. But it looks like we're actually not gonna take any damage. Okay, we didn't take any damage and we got some free food. Very nice. We'll get food to, to finish off this snow hair. But that was, you know, some slight drama there. We're just getting this rebuilt uh, over here. I've also got cook simple meals, do times four, which is always nice. Uh, what is the, how nice is this room? It's a somewhat rich, quite spacious, ugly, dirty room. You know what? <clears throat> I'll take it. They could be in a worse environment. They could be in a worse environment. It's mostly just the dirt and the bricks. We can store the bricks and stuff outside actually. Which, uh, I don't hate doing. If we get a stockpile zone here... Because there's a few things that don't deteriorate outside. So let's store some things outside, and that'll help with the storage space, and it'll help with... So we want to put a priority important, and... Right, what do I want to put out here? What's it under? Raw resources. Uh, steel. Why can't I see the word steel? There it is. It's literally right in front of me. Steel can be out here. And... 
Uh, do we want blocks? Yeah, they're called blocks, not bricks. I'm thinking about blocks, but they're bricks. Store these outside, and this will just give us a bit more space. I don't think gold has. Yeah, gold can be outside too. And so can silver. Um, storing your valuables outside might not be a great idea, but hey, it is what it is. Mm -mm. But hey ho, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to put a hole urgently on that bill, and hopefully we do that. But yeah, we're doing uh, producing four meals at a time now, which uh, is just a little bit more efficient, less traveling back and forth. But yeah, we can store all this stuff outside, and then the stuff that deteriorates will have more space inside to be stored. This works well for when you have small storage areas like we do right now. And also good for just those building materials that you need a lot of, like stone bricks. Hopefully late game we're going to have, you know, thousands of these. You know? Uh, let me just go offline in Steam real quick. Just so we stop getting those pop-ups. A Jade Meteorite. Well, I'll be damned. Randy, you've done it again. That's very, very valuable. There's a temptation to go mine that up now. So if we get a trader, we can trade with them and get good deals, you know? There is a temptation there, that's for damn sure. Uh, ooh, we don't have enough stuff. Any of this fully grown? Not quite. We're getting close to a new set of food, but we don't quite have it yet. Um, a new, a new grow through. Let's hunt some gazelles, because they don't fight back. They're all female as well, so they're not going to breed or anything. <clears throat> but that'll be fine. Alright, again, I'll be back. Ooh, wonderful. We've just received a quest. Um, a good one. A 43-year-old warrior named Wyatt is calling from nearby. A pack of two man-hunting snow hares. I think we can deal with those. He'll join us if we save him. Let's save him. Alright. Indigo is on an extreme break risk right now. Ravenously hungry. Uh, okay. Just eat some raw meat. And they've gone on a berserk. She'll attack anyone she sees. Great. Okay, Wyatt. I need to deal with the food situation better. I need to deal with the food situation better. There's actually a solution here, right? So she would have eaten beforehand if I had. I can do cook simple meal regular. Do until you have... Uh, do until you have 10, but have it on a lower priority here. So they'll cook four if they can. But if they can't cook four, they'll just cook one at a time. So it'll be mostly more efficient. But if I only say have, you know, 10 meat left, then they can just cook one at a time instead of trying to cook four. All right, Wyatt, what are you good at? Let's do the base priorities. He's a decent hunter. Uh, let's look at his bio. Look at old Wyatt's bio. He's really good at melee. He's really good at shooting. And he's relatively good at mining. He's decent at crafting as well, but we have better. Um, hmm, hum, 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 hum. I'm going to put a hole on a four. I'm going to take him off these ones. How is he at cooking? Not very good. Uh, I guess it'll be Hunter, Miner, Constructor. We'll put Mining on a 2 with Hunting. we got to get him a ranged weapon as well. Um, what we want to do is make sure that Indigo doesn't go near anyone. So we're just going to have to micro for a second here. And uh, keep people away from Indigo. So we'll just hide in this corner. We'll actually hide near this door in case she comes in here. Uh, Wyatt, hide down here. We're just, we're just, we don't want our people to fight each other. Like, we could just go punch her and just try and knock her out. But if we can avoid it, that's going to be better for us. We have starvation in her now, so she might pass out from starvation. She's got a little hangover. She's got a bite scar. She's got gut. She's got gut worms. I didn't remember she having that. <clears throat> okay, but I guess she's got that from last episode. Uh, it should have checked everyone's health. Not gonna lie. All right. If I, okay, Futa's just gonna go to bed right now. Wyatt can hide around here. Any of these 100% grown? Uh, not quite. So these hares are going to join any second now, or not going to join, but they're going to come attack us any second now. He's going to finish building that, but he's nice and out of the way, so that is fine. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Mm, yeah, probably don't want you doing that right now, Wyatt. I'm sorry, brother. Uh, let's sort out his restrict as well. Let's get him on a bit of recreation, a bit of work. I'm trying to keep everybody happy. We just need separate rooms and separate spaces. Um... Keeping people's moods high is actually super important in this game, like more important than I realized previously. Um, so we're going to try and keep everyone's moods high, but in the meantime, it's just a bit of a struggle. Uh, he's just going to cloud watch outside, that's fine. Keeping relatively far away from Indigo, we don't want her, because she's wielding a gun as well, so I think I used to... Uh, 
Okay, she she lost sight. That's fine. She lost sight. It's fine. Futa is going to go get some sandstone chunks to make some bricks. That's fine. Wow, we're having to get sandstone chunks from really far away now. We've used a lot for building. Uh, I should use these marble chunks at some point, but you need them in the off spaces. Uh, she is going to come back any second now. And we need to make sure... Oh, okay. Indigo is no longer in a rage, which is wonderful. Um, have we chopped down those trees over there yet? Or did that beaver just eel? It's a very, very high possibility that that beaver eel. Maybe I'm never going to get enough wood for this. I'm not going to lie. Maybe I'm never going to get enough wood for this. Uh, so let's cancel it. Let's build out our steel. Let's build out of steel. We're going to need to get um, research done and we're going to need to make our own trees, I think. Because having wood is useful um, for, a, for a multitude of things. But one of the things I'm going to need pretty soon is uh, a throne room. Well, pretty pretty soon. Maybe not pretty soon for this colony, but pretty soon just in general. <laughs> uh, so let's just go ahead and mine connected ores there. Because we got Wyatt, decent miner. I think Futa enjoys mining as well. Or well, I don't know if she enjoys it, but she does it. In fact, everyone has a, at least a little bit of a passion for mining. So everyone can get a little bit happy. Okay, here is the Manhunter pack. Should be two snow hairs. Again, uh, don't want to use my... I don't know why Indigo is sleeping on the floor, but okay. Um, yes, I don't want to use my traps. Are they not going to come through? Do they not see the traps as a valid path? Okay, there we go. Um, but I don't actually want to use my traps. I just wanted to bait them around. Okay, they're using the traps anyway. Oh, that's frustrating. That's frustrating. Okay, maybe I should have just opened the door and let them through. Because uh, that's a lot of resources used. To be honest, to be honest, to be honest, to be honest. I could do this a lot more efficiently if I just had one singular path going in. Which might be better. I don't know how I feel about this field. It's kind of weird. We'll redo this defense at some point, but I think for the time being, I'm just going to cancel these. I don't think we're going to get any super spooky raids, so we'll just leave it like this for now. Um, and that'll have to do. Uh, we're going to need to make Wyatt a bed as well, but I don't have much of any resources. I guess I can make it out of sandstone. We got some spare sandstone now. Um, best to have a bed than not have a bed. Uh, even if it's a bed in the same room as everyone else. So we will do that. Who is our best constructor to build that? Indigo is. So just wake up, build that for Wyatt, and then we will get Wyatt to sleep in there instead of sleep outside on the ground. Not a fantastic area to be taking a nap in. And there you go. We now have three people. So hopefully progress can quicken like we wanted it to. All right, now go back to bed. Now we sign this to wire and then we just wake him up and unwake him up and he should go to bed bed all right people are going to get disturbed sleep and stuff but that will be okay i have next to no food right now um which is an issue um we'll hunt this hare and this rat uh we won't hunt the boom rat because you know they explode they explode uh, and then everything else has at least a 10 percent or higher to uh to fuck us up which is annoying i mean i could probably get everyone to kill this emu that's like literally inside my base without taking any injuries you know i mean it's it is literally in our base oh uh, we have those two hairs as well i somehow managed to click i literally clicked like here and it clicked behind the screen kind of strange but hey is what it is um we can eat these these yorkshire terriers i'm not gonna lie there ain't a lot of my goddamn food there ain't a lot of my goddamn food uh, we're gonna butcher up all the animals we can right now, and then we're gonna cook meals. Indigo is relatively happy right now, actually, because uh, of catharsis. So we'll just deal with her malnutrition. Actually, let's get her to cook four meals. We'll get her to eat a meal, and then we'll get her to continue cooking. We gotta micro a little bit here. Try and keep the moods high, okay. And then back to butchering you. Butcher anything and everything we have active. Okay, is that food poisoning or gut worms? That is gut worms. Uh, let's get Wyatt to come in. Uh, Wyatt? Futa? Clean vomit. Okay, we'll get Futa to come in, clean up the cooking area. If we can here. I guess having your butcher spot in a separate room to your... 
to your cooking room is probably good because you want your cooking room to be clean to stop food poisoning, right? Um, so that kind of makes sense. And every time you butcher someone, you, it makes blood. Okay, this is the issue with uh, switching to the electric stove is now we have a solar flare. And it should pass in about a day. We have two meals to keep us going in the meantime. One meal to keep us going in the meantime. But we're going, we're getting a pretty big harvest in right now, so we should be good for the foreseeable future. We just need to cook it up. And cooking it up is gonna be an issue. Got a decent harvest in here as well. I need to put a chair here so we get comfort. We still only have one seat in our dining room as well, which isn't great, but people seem to be eating one at a time. So that's fine. Oh, it's all just a bit of a struggle. Once Indigo wakes up, um, she really is going to bed earlier than everyone else, eh? Does she just, she, I feel like she needs more sleep than everyone else somehow. Like she's gonna hit 100 rest before her allotted sleep time is over. Your allotted sleep time is not over. You should, in theory, still be asleep. I'm very upset. Oh no, we have power. We have power. Please don't eat raw meat. I know you want to eat raw meat, but we have power right now. Please. You have gut worms already. You don't need to. I don't know if gut worms increases. Oh, you don't have gut worms anymore. Gut worms have passed. You do have that bite scar on torso, which I think there's some there's some new research in the game, like brain wiring, and compact weaponry, and poison synthesis, and a bunch of stuff like down here in the late game, which I don't really know how it works. I think flesh shaping might allow me to get rid of like scars and stuff, which would be really cool. Look at that, 40 potatoes into four meals. 10 different types of potato in every meal. Look at that, we have an actual stockpile of meals. We did it. We did it, we actually have food. I think I maybe wanna make, uh, the rate that these guys go through meals, I think I maybe wanna make 20. Uh, and then we'll pause it, unpause it, 15, and un- uh, yeah, and unpause it, 15 again. Mm -mm -mm. This random person is passing through. Congratulations, you may pass through. You have my permission. Alright, construction, indigo again. Let's uh, work on this real quick. Let's get this done, so... Uh, oh, you're also the researcher. Cook and cook, constructor and researcher all in one is not the best. Uh, but we are gonna need batteries so we can store as much food as possible. Wyatt doing a bit of construction there. Is anybody else decent at research? You know what Futa is too. We'll let Futa do it also if she gets the opportunity to. Apparently we need material. I guess we harvested all. Uh, who's supposed to be doing the planting. Uh, I'm gonna put wire on a two for this. He's not great at it, but you know what? He's got a two skill and we just, we need, we need these to be harvested and put in. He's gonna botch a lot and he's not gonna get great yields, I don't think. Oh. Oh, rebuffed, dude. There was a rebuff. Oh, he tried to chat Futa up, but Futa said no. This is so sad. God damn it. That's unfortunate. A little bit of romance in the colony could have really helped our, uh, could have really helped things along, to be honest. Um, we're gonna bring Indigo's construction up to one. Uh, just so, because there's very few things that need to be built right now, but, uh, the things that do need to be built, need to be built, so build them. Um, yeah, so I want to make this from a fridge. I'm not gonna lie. No cap, dude. No cap. Um, I'm gonna need to cut more blocks. And I think it's gonna have to be marble blocks, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, cause they're just- they're so much closer. There's so many more and they're so much closer. Cause we're gonna need- we just need- we need new rooms. We need a new barracks. I think I'm gonna build a barracks, for now. Uh, we'll just build like out to here, and then down to here, and we'll make it like a barracks room. Uh, and then we'll make this a fridge. Or something. Or we'll make part of it a fridge. I don't know. I don't know. Things- planning. Planning and things. Or maybe we'll make part of this a barracks room and then part of it a production room. So we'll move the research bench and stuff. And then we'll put a butcher's spot and stuff in here. Minor plans, minor plans, minor plans. Um, but it's complicated. I feel like progress is so slow, but it's speeding up. Now we have more people. Now we have more people, it's speeding up. We're actually getting research done and that's real good. Um, I'm gonna pause until the research done. I'll be right back. 
I know I said I'll be back when the research is done, but... Oh. The research is done. Okay, well, I'm back. The research is done. Just like I said I would be. Um, also, I'm gonna remodel. And we're gonna remodel this. I'm just gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do, and then I'm gonna let them do it off camera. We're gonna bring this- we're gonna move this wall up here, and we're gonna close this side off. And we're just gonna have one area. Um, cause I just- I just- I don't like the way this is designed. Uh, so this is gonna get deconstructed and replaced with one of these. Um, and we're gonna deconstruct all this. Um, and then as for these traps, we will just, for the time being, reinstall them down here. And we are going to delete this zone, and then we're going to put a new... Oh, excuse me, I've been drinking fizzy drinks. Uh, we're going to put a new dumping stockpile right about here. And that is just how we're going to do that, and we're going to seal this up, just so you know what's going on. Um, and then I need to organize the new room as well. So we're getting some marble in. We don't have a huge amount, but let us do that. So we finished our battery work. So we want to build out to one more. So that is, what, like 35? So that should, in theory, be good. I'm going to say I want a door like here. Uh, what I want to build the door out of, I don't know. Uh, maybe sandstone? Maybe not sandstone. Who knows? Uh, probably marble again, to be honest, because we have a decent amount of marble. Um, and then this this stops us from doing... So the way this worked before, it was like a field, and then I was trying to force them to walk over the traps by uh, standing, uh, not having to stand on the marble chunks or whatever, because you, you can't like stand still on them, so they'd walk into the traps. That was the theory anyway. I think this, uh, this method is just more efficient for the amount of resources we have and stuff. Our gazelle is in a daze or something? Can that even happen? Because animals don't normally have a blue name, do they? Is our gazelle having a breakdown? Did I see anything about this? What's happening? Oh, it's gone wild again. Oh, it went back to being wild. You know what? I kind of don't care about that. Let's let's see it. <laughs> Maybe, am I a heartless? Am I a psychopath? Am I a sociopath? I kind of don't give a fuck. Let's just eat it. It was eating too much of our food anyway. So let's eat it. Revenge. Revenge feeding. That's what we like. We're coming up on the 30 minute mark here, but I'm enjoying myself, so I'm gonna, probably going to record another episode directly after this. So when you're seeing this, expect another episode in a day or two. Uh, I think I'll try and space them out. Uh, one upload, and then no upload, and then another upload. Wild man wanders in. The great thing about the wild people is you can see their bio before they start. So this is a good warden, a decent miner. Uh, they're kind of not great. They're incapable of dumb labor and intellectual work. Um, they're actually kind of... Kind of, they're, and they're a neurotic pessimist. You know what? Can I hunt them for food? No, let's not do that. I don't think our people will eat them happily, so we're not going to do that. We're going to hunt our old friend, the gazelle. Necessary sacrifices have to be made when you're living. When you're living out in the world. Why is Wyatt's mood so low? Just because he's keep getting he keeps getting rejected by Futa, and it's making him real sad. Uh, which is annoying for us. Ooh, a raid. To end off the episode, a man with a gun. Uh, or a woman with a gun, even. How good of a shot are they? Six. They're okay. They are attacking immediately. Um, honestly, I think our traps and or turret will deal with this. I'm not gonna lie. Ah. We haven't sealed that bit up yet, so that is that is unfortunate. There's kind of no cover for them. They're going to try and go to here. And we're just going to send Wyatt over. And he's just going to punch them up as soon as they get over there. Okay, they're just going to die. Hey, Wyatt, I got you a gun, my guy. I got you a gun. I know you've been wanting one. I know you like hunting animals. I got you a gun, a hunting gun. A uh, gun for the hunting. And uh, they didn't do a single piece of damage to us. So that's the way this works, right? If, if we didn't have this sandbag here or the sandbag here, they could have sat on this corner and shot in at us. And that would have been very spooky. But they can't do that because they suck. So, that is going to be it for this episode. Please subscribe if you got this far to the end. Uh, like the video as well, if you want to like the video. i got to try and do more of the youtuber stuff, you know? Because it does genuinely help, just to remind people. Um, but hey, we'll, we'll try and do some more youtuber -y, YouTuber -y bollocks as we make our videos and stuff. Um, but in the next episode, we're going to be making this room. I hope you're enjoying this chill series. I know it's not, like, super exciting to watch. And, uh, you know, it's not super funny or, or super edited. But, you know, it's just chilling. It's just me and you. Um, and I just get to talk to you guys and... 
and, it, and it's nice. Uh, the watch time on the series is pretty good, so I think people are enjoying it, so I'm gonna keep doing it. Um, love you guys, and I'll catch you in the next video. Uh, goodbye.